Dr. Brad Jacobs is a total badass for many reasons. One is because he really has a comprehensive approach and he's at the cutting edge with all of the latest science and technology, but also bringing in the psycho-spiritual part for you as well. Dr. Brad, maybe you could tell us when you're working with your clients, how you look at it both from an objective point of view, things we can measure, but I also know you work a lot with mind-body medicine. So yeah. How do those two things come together in your approach? We love to combine, hear people's experiences. We try and get them engaged in their own sensory awareness. And then we can, at the same time, measure their own physiology. And then we use Heads Up Health as a great platform to aggregate all that data. I really like sort of the combination of bringing people's experience of their physiology with their experience of their subjective self. And most of us were focused on our actions. And so we focus like, I gotta set a new goal for the, for the year, for the day, for the month. And then we succeed sometimes, we succeed transiently, and then we fall back into our old, old routine. So what I like to do is say, how do we map back into some older paradigms and habits and thinking that we do? And so let's do some sort of peak experience and then get those folks to have that experience that drop in, they repattern and then we could see how their physiology changes. And then as they start to repattern and create new habits and their physiology and their experience of their life changes, then all of a sudden their physiology totally changes. Brad, I also know you work a lot with clients who are interested in longevity. Yeah. And you measure longevity in a number of different ways. You may look at telomere length. Yeah. You may look at DNA methylation. You may look at glycation. So can you talk about when you're working someone with someone purely on a longevity basis, what are some of the ways you're helping to quantify those outcomes for them? Yeah, so I like to think about it as longevity and health span, right? So how can we keep you high quality of life, high vitality, and then you die rather than a slow decline. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's increasing your lifespan. And both of those relate to this concept of biological age, which is you have a chronological age, I'm 60 years old, what am I biologically? I'm actually 15 years younger, biologically, according to certain measures. And then which are the best measures? So that's an evolving field. We're looking at DNA methylation, telomeres, inflammation now, the inflammasome they're talking about. Some of these companies now are doing these multi-omic tests where they'll use a few different ones and come up with a composite score. Mm. What I like about that is if we can look at and figure out what pathways that each one of us is, is at most at risk by and then address physiologically, pharmacologically, you know, through lifestyle, certain interventions to optimize that path for us, then I think we have a bigger opportunity to reduce our biological age rather than a generic shotgun approach. On the day-to-day, -day, we look at yeah, sleep score, resilience score, stress score, which are composites, you know, that relate to HRV, morning readiness. So that's all like off, let's say the Aura Ring as an example, or an Apple Watch, you know, there's a range of them out there. And then at the incremental level, we'll do like body composition. We'll do VO2 max testing, looking at their endurance and their VO2 max and where their lactate, lactate thresholds are and see how those change over time. And then that's more intermittent along with lab testing. And one thing I love about Dr. Brad is he also appreciates celebration and going out and having a good time. Yeah. Maybe that's putting back a few drinks, maybe it's just going out with friends, but like that may be acutely adverse for your health in the moment. Right. But there's just like the joy of life of going out and having fun. We went out in Miami and just had a blast. Yeah. Like uh, Maslow likes to talk about on your path to self-actualization is peak experiences, like some of them we've been talking about. Yeah. Also like play, having fun, being childish. I'm a huge fan of that. I love your approach at Blue Wave. Uh, we're grateful for you as a customer. And uh, I just love working with you, Brent. Yeah. Keep up the great work. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man.